Researchers' Nights is a, an initiative of the European community to uh, allow the possibility for the public to meet the researcher, people who do science. CERN, of course, is taking part in this initiative by, in particular, inviting young kids, I mean, between 13 and 18 years old, to come and really meet the, the people who are, for example, taking the data at the LHC. The, the Large Hadron Collider is 27 kilometers long. And the collision points are located all along this ring. So the main place of sun is located on one point, and CMS is located exactly on the opposite point. So the control is have to be done on the way things happen. So children have to travel by bus till the uh, control room. They have uh, a kind of a presentation about what kind of physics we are doing uh, at 1.5, uh, what is the, the use of the CMS detector. What, what, what are we seeing right there? Like, what so, the, what, what you're seeing is the result of the collision with two protons, right? So two protons just collided in there head on, okay? And what actually happens is that all the energy which is released in the collision is transformed into matter. <laughs> It's always interesting to, to discuss with, with young people because their questions are, are very different than what we are thinking, that we, that we usually think because uh, they have not a background, a physics background, so they have some questions which sometimes are a little bit, uh, seems to be strange, but in fact are very smart and uh, it's a uh, it's always, uh, it's always very good for us to try to answer with very uh, simple terms. Kids can do a lot during uh, researchers' night. Um, they have the opportunity to watch us, to see us working in real conditions. They accompany us um, in different places and they really participate into our tasks. Uh, we don't pretend working when they are here. We just do our daily job. We talked to some of the people on shift and saw lots of wiring and were explained how CMS worked in general. The kids would have a chance to sit in front of the same screen on these like chairs and uh, look on the uh, events which comes uh, one after the other and uh, then they would be trained to analyze some of these real events. I had the opportunity to bring these kids into the underground service cavern of CMS, uh, showing to the kids different counting rooms where we have hundreds of racks uh, feeding the experiments in low voltage and high voltage and collecting the data uh, produced by the CMS detector. Well, the thing I liked the best was um, well, how much electronic they had and it was just amazing the power of the, that they needed. Being in the underground area is quite unique at CERN that you can really go down while you have beam and collisions of particles uh, close to you, uh, just behind a wall of six, seven uh, meters of concrete. Uh, Niels showed us a, a, a door where you had to, where it was really complicated you had to uh, had an eye scanner uh, a card and that he also explained to us that it was like in the movie uh, angels and demons and I, and I said does it work if you actually take someone's eye out he said no because they can tell if it's dead or alive and so, um, yeah, that was cool. This is really an event which is made as possible, as much as possible, fun and entertaining. But at the same time, it's something that, you know, where they learn something and where they have the possibility really to, to get in touch with the, you know, with the science while it is made. Often at CERN we, we meet people that started like that, just by a little visit. So for these kids who are interested in joining us as a physicist or as an engineer or as a scientist in general, 
um, it's really a, a good opportunity uh, to take the first step. It was a real pleasure to, you know, to talk with them, to explain things, because one could see that they really were looking for it. Really, we need these kids for the future. We need them in order to perform and to advance and to improve the research at CERN and elsewhere. And triggering the interest in their eyes, uh, I think is really um, an added value for the future because we need them.